Okay, we are. T are we testing or is it good to go? No, I'm you're reading. It is 627. We are on the flight from Dallas to Indianapolis. We're going to get there about 955 tonight. We'll be hunting in the morning. It's going to be a little warm in the morning, but it should start cooling off. Is that right, weatherman? Yeah. That's yeah. right, weatherman. <laughs> Yeah, um, the one that the mic didn't work on, I said the wrong weather, so <laughs> Trevor corrected me. But um, anyways, we're going to uh, be hunting for like the next four or five days in Indy. Should be a good time. We I haven't hunted there in like five or six years, and then I don't know if Ryan's ever hunted there. So I was with you when we hunted. There. Was you? Trevor's never. Have you never hunted there? Never white till hunted there ever. I've never white till hunted. Hey, get this. I've never white tail hunted out of the state of Oklahoma. I've done a lot of things. I mean, you can attest <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah, Alaska. Yeah, I've never. I went. <laughs> yeah, I went to Alaska on a caribou hunt, but I've never white tail hunted out of the state of Oklahoma. If it's good, it's good. Never have. This may be the last and only time we go. Whenever you get a chance, just off that plane. Old buddy was wide. He sat like this the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the stand tomorrow. I got a crick in my neck, guys. Oh, okay. Hello, Dad. Kids. Your children are here. We'll put this back there first. Even in a hard case. <laughs> it's in a hard case, so it's okay. Hey, you got them tied up? You got them tied up for us? Uh, as soon as you guys land, all the pictures stop. I knew it. <laughs> I feel a heat wave. I feel a south wind right now. Yeah, it's definitely a south wind for about another probably 24 hours. And then it's then it gets wreckage. And then we go get. We're going to get ice caramel coffee. Uh, we do go again. Oh, he's already got one. No. Yellow. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Well, we we all back together again. We go again, as we always say. Uh, the dudes just. Finally got here, showed him my deer a little bit, get him a little excited. Um, it's a little warm uh, for tomorrow, but we're all gonna get the stuff together. I've got my stuff together already, but they're gonna get everything together. We're gonna hunt a couple pieces of private, kind of close tomorrow, and uh, then it gets cold the next day. So uh, big cold fronts coming in, and uh, should be really good hunting. We're getting bunches of pictures of bucks moving and chasing and <laughs> daylight stuff finally so it should be fun. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm just kidding. Bink. And he posted it. Like, like you did those cows. Pig. Gotta pick it up over your head. You still and everything? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, perfect. Oh, we're we're gonna gonna on these, <laughs> on these ridges and stuff. I can't see my pen at all. <laughs> one, uh, one egg McMuffin, one steak, egg, and cheese bagel with no onions. Well, we're here. It's a little bit colder than Phil thought it was going to be, which is not a bad thing. Y'all been battling some warmer weather anyway, so. Cameras are already going off like crazy everywhere, so. The deer frolicking, so we're going to try to sneak in there before it gets any later.
Oh my God, what did we just do, dude? We just rattled in, baby. We just rattled in Grand Indiana, a shooter. I mean, he's not a giant, but dude, it's like my first deer in Indiana. And we just did it the first opening morning. We just rattled in and grunted in to 30 yards, a good deer. Listen to me, dude. We just wrecked him at 30 yards. He's wrecked. Zach, thank you, brother. Good job, baby. Good hunting, dude. Hey, listen, that's saying something. This set has never been hunted for. Phil, come in here and set it up. How long ago? Like last week sometime, right? <clears throat> We're on this ridge. I I I we haven't seen nothing all day, have we? <sighs> I'm trying to stay calm, dude, but holy, I'm about to freak out. We set, um, I shake it so bad. Okay, I, can't, I gotta get my thoughts together. Okay, I am too. I don't know what to do yet, but I'm, I'm trying to stay calm. Okay. We're not so sure what's going on, but. I think we're gonna go go ahead and get down on the wind. Our wind's just doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this. So we know we've got a couple good deer in here and we just don't want to blow it out. So we'll wait for a little bit more consistently to get out and go help Trevor find his deer, help him take some pictures and whatnot. So at least we didn't get skunked. We seen some deer. Go down and look for blood. I did hit a limb, 100. I knew it hit the limb, but I could have swore I seen it going. It was, I mean, there was definitely some stuff my way. But um, I mean, I ranged him 32 yards. I know, I mean, I know I was on unless that limb deflected way worse than I thought, and it just looked like it went right in with how fast I'm shooting. We are sitting here. To <laughs> oh my goodness, we're sitting here talking about it. We said, <laughs> did we you video the whole time right then, or no? Did you stop it, dude? He literally we was video and talking about it, and he said, wait, wait, you may be on camera. And he looks down, he's dead right there, 70 yards. <laughs> we wrecked him. I knew we wrecked him, dude. It just, 
It's always that stuff in your mind that you just, that little bit of doubt. Dude, we just done it. Opening morning, rattled him in. That's what I'm talking about. We haven't seen one deer all day, did we? We haven't seen one deer. Dude, we're not after giants right here, dude. We only have four days. We only have four days to get three bucks. And I'm telling you, I'm happy with this deer. Phil, it worked so well, Don. Yeah. Dude, Phil, I'm so excited, dude. Yeah, that's that's sweet. I've never even seen that deer. It's weird. I'm tagged out in Indiana for this year. I'm gonna go help Zach get one now, or Kyle film them. Um, can't wait to get behind the camera and see what this weekend has to hold. It hasn't even started yet. This weekend, I mean, this is the day. It's supposed to be the hottest day. Tomorrow it's going to be in the 40s for a high, 20s for a low, and good things are going to happen. This is the start of the series. I'm happy with this deer. It's not a giant deer. I understand that, but it's not about that. It's about getting it done for these guys and getting helping these guys get, on, get some others on camera. Um, I'm excited about it. Let's keep on going. Onyx, unguided 20 for 20% off at onyx.com. Get yours today. We are over here. Me and Ryan are going to go hunt the very tree, I think, that I shot my deer at the other day. Because oh, Ryan wants to come over here and kill my bucks that I want to grow. <laughs> the young up and coming. big. Why does he struggle so hard with picking spots? I don't know. I've Have never, you ever seen anybody? Well, there is no person that's more indecisive. As slow as I am and as late as I am, that's how indecisive he is. Yeah. It's horrible. Okay, this place I've hunted for, uh, let's see, over a decade. And I know exactly what these deer do. So these guys, these two guys right here are trying to force me into think, thinking that these deer are going to do something that I'm pretty sure is not going to do because it's hot. But it could happen. I killed my deer and it was like 70 degrees, so. He saves all the big ones for himself. Oh, my wife's sick. I can't go. I know what the deer do. Absolutely. Same day you shot your <laughs> So Kenzie wasn't really sick. I canceled on these idiots because there was big bucks to be killed here in the <laughs> <laughs> the important stuff out of the way. Let's go hunt. The cold front is here. It's like 30 degrees and with the wind chill it's like 22. It's November 12th. And me and Phil for the past two years have both killed with when we hunted together.
are starting to move a little bit here, so we'll see. You're not going to see all of them. Well, we're here. We're tucked in the barn. Once it gets a little bit light, you'll be able to see. We're up in this, I think it's built like the 1920s or something, 1930s. And so we're up in the hayloft. We're looking at this big thicket. And <clears throat> It just started snowing super hard and it's actually sticking, so it's gonna be really pretty. Can't see a ton, but uh, walking in, there's a ton of scrapes, which is good. Uh, so basically, there's a bunch of does that live in here, and the bucks that we've killed just come cruising through the thicket looking for does. So with this cold and snow, they should absolutely be running. So I'm, I'm super excited. I shot a good deer here last year on opening day gun season, so hopefully we can just repeat that. Is that deer? Deer, that's Timmy. You just got a good deer. Trevor, wait a second, wait a second. Oh my god, Trevor, he just killed a good one. He's got junk going everywhere. Dude, what is this deer? Listen to me, Zach. <clears throat> good job, baby. We did it, guys. Dude, we did it. Don. Dude, we just did it. Ben. Dude, we just did it. I don't know, some kind of crazy freak deer. <laughs> yeah. Dude. His brother, tell, talk, tell me, tell me about you, tell dude. Me. Same, tell Carl it's the same spot I shot that one last year, dude. Really? Being the footage is unreal. Man, dude. It's some kind of crazy freak oh. deer, dude. Did you see all the uh, scrapes? Yeah. Yes, that's him. Dude, all right. good. I'll call you in a second. Do you know, talk about this barn and stuff, dude. It's crazy. It's, it's, this barn. it's this property that me and my family we always hunt, and so this is in the town that we're in. This is one of the. Uh, original houses on this huge farm and so it's all grown up in a thicket now and there's this super old barn it's like 1930s or something like that and we get up in the hayloft and you can just see over this thicket and this is the second year in a row I've shot a buck out of it um, it's kind of a crazy spot you really I mean you're not always gonna see a ton of deer but these bucks just cruise through all right so we just shot this thing um, pretty confident I watched it fall uh, we're gonna hop down and go look for blood because it's snowing hard. I don't want it all to get covered up. So yeah, we're gonna climb down out of here. Dude, let's go. Super pumped for him, dude. I'm gonna go find this thing. The blood? You got his tracks? Huh? Talk to me. What'd you say? He's here. <laughs> you found me? Let's go, dude. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Dude, that body, Zach. Oh my goodness. No, you did not. Just do this. Oh my goodness. What is that thing? Oh. Is that a what? What is this thing? <laughs> Never in my life have I seen something Dude. so weird. <laughs> Well, as you can see, shot the craziest deer I've ever seen. Um, the biggest body deer, it's absolutely giant, probably 300 pounds. And uh, I've really, Trevor, have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen anything like it, no. ever. This is a crazy, crazy looking deer. Um, we're super excited, it's a blizzard out here. Uh, it was beautiful, we just came checking the thicket, like we said just looking for does cruising and uh, yeah I'm, I'm extremely happy son <laughs> big dog Oh, you missed me! Oh, right behind you the shoulder! Oh, I'm gonna film and everything! Double up. <laughs> I can reload fast! Dude, that's how a deer really feels just then. I literally stopped! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, oh, he, he fell for it! Come oh, on, Kyle! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Dude, what? Dude, what is this thing? A unicorn. So I thought it was a third main unicorn. It's like all he has. How do you score it? I, that, I don't know. What's a deer like this score? Is that not insane, Ryan? Oh, look how long he is, dude. He keeps going. <laughs> he literally keeps going. Dude, we're not in Oklahoma anymore. <laughs> yeah, when I walked on yes, that thing, Kyle. 